Jane's sister, Christina Halsey, and a dear twin sister. We're at the St. Francis Center right now, and I get to be the executive director here. The community um, has grown to not only know this place, but to love this place. The big problem is La Pacita, which means Little House. And the reason I feel that they call us Little House is because it's a place where they come and feel at home in a little, um, intimate environment. I think that um, folks have no idea in the United States the opposite of poverty, any real poverty that we have. Our clients are being um, seven in little car garage. They're very hard working people who care about their families just like they more than a on the And they're willing to do absolutely anything to make their lives better with this. We are not the full support. We don't even want to be. We're open five days a week, but a family is only allowed to come one time a month for clothing and for food. Yes. Present, we are serving between 460 and 500 families every single month, which is about 2,500 people every month from two years of zero and COVID. In a year, we become about 16,000 years in close. So we see the value of the food programs, the clothing programs, and all the guest legislation. Our people need those programs, and they need housing. But I'm thinking there has to be a way for us to be in self of poverty. And being a missionary myself, the only way I can see that that would happen is through education. The university right in the neighborhood is very, very low, especially for the women, because in the countries where they're coming from, it's not a high value for the women to have an education. So we have instituted a computer program for our moms. We also have one on one tutors and teachers uh, for our moms to learn English, and then there's the school. <laughs> What we do is we chose the 12 least economically able students that we could find. Some were pulled right from our low income housing building, others were right from the local neighborhood. They knew zero English. And when I say zero, they could not speak one syllable of English when they came to us uh, a little bit over two years ago. The people reading right now, the majority of them are reading about the 80th percentile in the not that bad, she said. I'm here in meeting, I could be not her sadness, but her boy. You look at Sergio, what you're seeing is the very first person ever in his family to do this. My name is Sergio Castro. I want to grow up, I want to be an astronaut. The education is provided uh, free of charge because of one of our amazing donors. The only non negotiable is that the mothers come to one for the other. We want to not only raise the literacy rate of the child or one child in the family, we want together to raise the literacy rate of the entire family. My name is Martina Gomez, and I come to the center. I'm I'm the guardian for my young daughters. I'm the my young daughters in English. I feel really proud of her. I never realized in my life my granddaughter's going to have to go to a private school. Sometimes I'm tired because I cry because you know, in Mexico we never have the kind of education they have in this school. And for me it's really exciting to see my granddaughter's go up in good education. My name is Melissa Massa, and when I, and when I grow up, I want to be in a tent. My hope is um, first in that, and after in my, in my granddaughter's home, that goes. That's why I pray every day and my counsel to them. You have to learn. Today is a new day. You have to learn something new today. In the same way, I want to be proud of them. I want them to feel proud of me. I want to get my own business or of all fish my virus. Do not with the example. It's not important the age. The important is the thing you want to do. My name is Mr. Hamazar. 
Well, I want to be go up, I want to be a scientist. My name is Diana Cisneros. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. I just feel gratitude. I feel gratitude because somebody believed um, in us enough to use the call necessary phones for that to happen. We will not see the results when the kids go out to other schools. And how the moms and uh, we learn uh, to these people. I just think I'm much, much English, but I think it's important for everything.